Hello there and good afternoon. During the week, I got wind that the West Dorset Conservative Party members had summoned their MP Oliver Letwin to a special meeting to grill him about his parliamentary antics of backing a delay to Brexit. So I wrapped up warmly and took my camera gear to the Beerminster Public Hall to see what I could find. On arriving, I found a nice little reception party from the cross-party campaign group Leave Means Leave waiting for Oliver's appearance. The 25 or so in number reception party were cheerful and polite and engaged in a friendly manner with some of the attendees as they arrived. It did seem though that the local constabulary felt compelled to ask a PCSO to attend, but the reason for this was not evident to me. Although we waited patiently at the front entrance to the hall, there was no sign of the local Member of Parliament. That is, until we had an alert from a watcher that Leave Means Leave had positioned at the rear of the building that their MP had decided he did not want to meet his reception party and had been snuck in via the fire exit. The meeting I hear kicked off with a plea for people to refrain from talking to any press outside the hall on their way out followed by a just under 25 minute statement by Oliver Letwin on why he was backing Yvette Cooper's bill that could force the government to extend the Article 50 process for nine months. I of course did not attend the meeting, but I have based the following on information that I have on extremely good authority. But bear in mind, this is my personal interpretation. The West Dorset MP made it clear that he backed the Prime Minister and would support any deal she came up with. In fact, he used the term of being omnivorous about any deal reached and would accept anything from Norway Plus right through to a WTO-only exit on the proviso that the UK was properly prepared for a no-deal scenario and that the House had voted for it but he does not think the UK is properly prepared for a no-deal Brexit. He also said that if officials work to rule, it would cause problems, but if they were flexible, then WTO may not be as problematic as some think. He also told his audience that he was against a second referendum, that the UK should leave the EU, and that he was not playing games with the country. He then went on to say that when the PM brings the next version of her deal back again to Parliament, that it is possible, but very unlikely, she would get it through the House. But where he parts company with the Prime Minister, he said, is that when we get to the end of February, it is unlikely a deal will be agreed by MPs, so he thinks that instead of going for a no deal on Brexit Day, the UK should approach the EU to extend Article 50 to get a deal sorted and also get WTO preparations properly completed just in case, so as to limit risks to the country. Hence his support for Yvette Cooper's proposals. He then went on into a lengthy Q&A session. One item that raised a few eyebrows is that he basically rubbished the 2017 Tory manifesto. He said that he liked the 2015 manifesto that he was involved in writing, but not the 2017 one, in which he had no hand. The obvious question is then, why did he sign up to it by standing for election on it? Now this is just a flavour, there is more and I might mention it in a later video. And when the meeting ended, Letwin once again availed the use of the rear fire exit to make good his escape. But he was, as I understand it, neatly and politely ambushed by half a dozen waiting leave means leave activists and a photographer working for the Telegraph. One or two tried to ask him their own questions, but I gather they received no satisfactory answers. There may be something about this in the Sunday Telegraph. Finally, I'll leave you with a few clips of people telling you why they were there in the cold and dark last night. Hello, my name's Philip Glover. I'm from Christchurch in Dorset. I've been a UKIP activist since 2007. I'm here because I want us to leave with no deal. I think that's the best thing for this country. Leave with no deal and form any, any, any deals after we leave the EU. I voted to leave in 2016 and I thought we would be leaving within a few months but we still haven't left and the government is deliberately wasting time making, trying to make a deal that would actually leave us worse off than if we were in the EU with a say 
would be just a vassal state if, if, if May's agreement ever was, was approved by Parliament. Hello, uh, my name's Tim. Uh, I'm outside here tonight because I believe in democracy. I voted leave in the referendum because I believe in democracy and the EU, from all I could read about it, seems to be very anti-democratic. Oliver Letwin is my MP, my constituency MP in West Dorset. Uh, he's elected to represent us. West Dorset voted to leave the EU and he appears to be doing his best to negate that result, reverse it and keep us in when we voted to leave. That's it. My name's Peter Sharp. I'm here protesting outside Oliver Letwin's meeting because I'm seriously concerned about democracy on two levels. Firstly, the EU is not democratic. Laws are made by people we cannot elect and cannot evict from office, to wit, the European Commissioners. On the second level, Parliament gave us a referendum in which there was a clear majority to leave the EU and Parliament promised that he would honour the result of that referendum. Now it looks as though Parliament is backsliding on that and that means that democracy in this country is in severe danger. That is why I'm protesting and that is why I'll continue to protest. Thank you. I am Graham Brandt and I am the chairman of UKIP Dorset and West Dorset and I'm here tonight to put pressure on Oliver Letwin because of his arrogance and because he is trying his damnedest to stop Brexit. All I want is the government to honour David Cameron's promise that whatever the decision of the people, the government would implement it. And that's what they damn well should do. Hi, I'm Rob Bell. I'm, I've travelled 65 miles from Hampshire today to support the Leave Means Leave campaign here um, to protest to, uh, against Oliver, Oliver, Sir Oliver Letwin's stand in Parliament. Um, to my mind, he's a traitor. He is uh, standing against democracy in this country. He's standing against the majority of people. He's responsible for a coup in the Houses of Parliament, and he has to be stopped. We have to raise the profile of Leave Means Leave, and we have to fight for democracy. Everybody needs to get up and fight. Otherwise, this country is, is uh, uh, finished. I'm here. The, the MP who's supposed to be representing me isn't. He's a gentleman. I, I'm sure he's very honourable, but he's definitely not representing my views and the views of millions of other people in this country. We voted very clearly to leave. And leave means leave. I didn't vote for anything else. I want us to leave the European Union. And when we do, we can become stronger players in Europe because I love Europe and we'll be stronger, better. The whole of Europe will be better once we get rid of this horrible, horrible EU. I'm Jade from Dorchester. I'm a mum of four. Um, before the referendum came about, I didn't really know much about the European Union or what the vote was about. So I decided to, to do my research. And once I'd done my research, I believed that we'd be better off out of the EU um, for a number of reasons. Um, Oliver Letwin is supposed to be my local MP and the reason I'm here tonight is because Dorset majority voted to leave. He's a member of parliament, he should be honouring that vote. I'm a working class mum, I don't have a newspaper column, I don't have a seat in the House of Commons, so my only way to be heard is through a vote and Oliver's not honouring that vote so I'm here tonight to ask him why he's being such a traitor. And that's all really. So what do you think? Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.